Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 26. Today's gonna be the weekly check-in on the grocery budget. And um, I'm gonna change the format slightly this week. Hopefully, I just wanna try something different and hopefully maybe I'll hear some feedback which um, way you would prefer it. So just stick around real quick for a few words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the episode. Hi guys, so today I'm doing my weekly budget check-in, grocery budget to see how we came in and just to help encourage everybody that you definitely can do groceries on a tight budget. So um, if you haven't listened before, we do $150 a week for our family of five. Um, It's uh, me and my husband and three kids and our kids are all um, teenagers. So it's basically like shopping for five adults. So um, on the previous episodes when I've done this, I've actually like read to you every single thing that I purchased um, on my grocery shopping, but I decided this time I'm not going to do that. I'm going to point out a couple of the things that I got and maybe some of the prices, but I'm just basically going to do a check-in, talk like slightly about a little bit about saving money on groceries and then let you know the total and if we came in on budget or not and um, try it that way and see what you think. If you could give me some feedback, that would be awesome. I'm not sure if you would rather actually hear like everything I purchased, like you would see on like a YouTube grocery haul type video, or um, if you just want kind of motivation to stick to your budget and see that, you know, if you really um, try, you can definitely do it and hear like some tips and ways that I really try and make sure I stick to the budget each week. Let me know what you think. So anyway, so it's Thursday. Um, I just got back from shopping. We did, um, we just had dinner and uh, I got all the groceries put away. And uh, oh, you know what I wanted to mention before I get into this grocery thing? One of the things I just tried for um, dinner, we do like breakfast for dinner once in a while because it's like a, it's like a good budget meal. Um, I got, um, not I got, I had turkey bacon. And I decided to, to try and bake it in the oven because I have seen, we usually eat turkey bacon. We eat regular bacon too, but we've just always kind of eaten turkey bacon. And I saw that some people um, bake regular bacon in the oven to cook it. And I never, I've kind of seen it, but I've never done that before. And then I thought like, oh, I wonder if you could do that with turkey bacon. So I did just tonight, like just now, we had that for dinner with our, with our breakfast for dinner night. It was so good. Like it came out so good. It was crispy. It was cooked perfectly. And I didn't have to stand there over the stove like for like not very long, but just like annoying and like flipping it, flipping it. It doesn't all fit in the pan. And then like for some reason the turkey bacon we got, I don't know if it's like sweetener or I don't like if it's sweet, like sugar in it or something. I don't know. But like a lot of times it winds up sticking to the pan and it's just like really annoying. So I was really excited about that. So anyway, back to the grocery haul. So I went to Aldi and BJ's like I usually do. This week I didn't mess up and forget that Aldi closed at five o'clock like I did last week and had to go totally out of my usual routine and I had to go to shop right last week because I was getting ready to leave for grocery shopping and realized that the store was going to be closing in a half hour and there was no way I could get there in time because during the, um, I'm recording this during the coronavirus quarantine and they close at five o'clock now. So you, and they want you out by five o'clock. So I, um, I made sure I actually set a reminder on my phone this week to be certain that, um, I would be at the store, like that I would remember leave my house at four o'clock so I could be there in time. So anyway, like usual, I went to Aldi first. Um, I mean, I got a lot of my usual things. I think, you know, I love the um, their Greek yogurt. It's like their Chobani type, fl- it's like a flips, like a Chobani flips. And it's, I think it's really, really good. And it's only 59 cents, like that's 40 cents cheaper than when Aldi's on sale for a dollar. So I got that, um, trying to see if I got like anything out of the norm this time I oh I their chips are really good that like their um tortilla chips they have like these like blue organic tortilla chips and they're only like a dollar 37 so I got some of those I got the kids cereal they're like 95 cents and a dollar 29 their granola bars are really good they have like the chewy granola bars like a variety pack and um those are only like let me see here those are only a dollar nine for a like a pack and I I forget how many granola bars comes in it but it's like a usual like if you bought like 
you know, Quaker Oats or whatever um, type granola bar. It's like the same type of box. And the, the, my kids really love them. I got protein bars from there. That that was $1.75. And like a sweet and salty bar was $1.39. Oh, and their Fig Newtons are really good. They're only 98 cents. Um, so I got those. I got, oh, their Brussels sprouts are pretty good. They come in a bag, like one of those, like, I don't know, you know, like how you could get like Brussels sprouts in like a bag. <laughs> it comes in like that kind of bag that, um, I, I don't know if you, it's almost like one of those like steam type bags, but I don't think it is. But those are really good. Oh, and I got, um, I don't always get these, but I got potato, like kettle um, barbecue chips. They're only $1.08. So just to give you an idea, um, the prices are really low at Aldi and it definitely helps me save. So my total for Aldi came to $92.85. And then I went over to BJ's. So this week I decided I was gonna let my kids get a couple of extra like requests that they had asked for. My son had asked me if I could get like frozen um, uh, chicken strips because we had got um, my daughter door dashed uh, Chick-fil-A the other day, which she's not allowed to do. Um, I mean, we were home. That, that's not like why she's not allowed to do it, but she's not allowed to do it just because of the cost. And she was working last summer and she made like all this money and she was blowing it like crazy on just door dashing. And I'm like, you worked the whole summer and you're blowing all this money on, on door dashing food when I cooked dinner. Like you don't need to do this. So, um, but anyway, I let her do it the other day. I forget why, but for whatever reason they had, I think they had a special or something because of the quarantine, they were offering some kind of like where you got like free shipping or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, they door dashed Chick-fil-A and we had leftover, um, uh, like the Chick-fil-A sauce. So my son asked me if I could get like chicken strips and my daughter asked me if I could get like frozen chicken nuggets. So I got them each those. And then I also got like some, um, like mango juice at BJ's, which was like $8 for like the two of the big juices, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but to me, that's kind of like a splurge. Cause I'm, I really try and stick to this budget until we like meet certain financial goals and like $8 just for juice is like, I don't know. I think that's a lot of money. So anyway, I got them these few extra things just because I figured I'm not really spending a lot of money on gas because I'm only working in the office one day a week right now during quarantine. I'm almost always home. So I have a little money in my budget for that. And I was like, all right, you know what? I hate to do this. I hate to go over my grocery budget. Even if I have other money to cover it, I really want to stick with my $150. So I felt a little guilty. And um, as I was adding it up, I was going to show that I was going to come in about $20 over budget. So I got to the checkout at BJ's and I don't know if you guys um, shop at BJ's, but basically every time you use your BJ's card, you get like 5% of your order back in like rewards. And every time that accumulates up to $20, you get a, you get a $20 coupon and it'll like show up like on the register when you go to pay. It'll say like, you have $20 reward, would you like to use it? So I went to pay. And guess what popped up on the screen? <laughs> you have a $20 reward. Would you like to use it? I was like, yes. So even though I thought I was going to come in over budget, I didn't. When I add the two receipts together, after having applied the $20 Aldi uh, BJ's coupon, my total came to $148.38. So I was, let's see, I was $1.62 under budget. So I was pretty happy with that. And... Um, that's so that's for this week we we still came in on budget even though I decided to splurge a little but um I do have to say though I it was really difficult to shop again because this time they had like I wanted to get some uh chicken just because it's been like so scarce like it's been hard to get like chicken breasts and stuff like that lately and when I was at when I was at BJ's it was like you can only get one they ha it was like you could get one fresh like meat item so it was like one chicken one beef or one pork like you could get one of each but like I, I thought it should have been like you could get like one package of chicken legs or like one package of chicken breast or like a variety of like what if you only eat chicken you're only allowed like one package of chicken to feed your family for the whole week. Like I just thought it was so strange that you could only get one of each variety of meat. I would think it would at least be like you could only get like one of each type of package. But so anyway, 
Um, that's that. Just another tip. I've shared this before, but the, but how I do this um, grocery budget is I do have that app. It's called IntelliList. Um, it's this is not sponsored by them. It's just something that I really like, and I make my grocery list. And it once you put an item in there once, and you put the price in it stays in there. So like when you create your list, you could like add stuff to your list and it has the price in there. And it's so helpful in helping you stick to your budget because you could see what you're spending, uh, what you're estimated to spend. And then when I'm at the grocery store, like as I grab the things, I check them off in the list and it'll show you like how much you have in your shopping cart so far and like what your total is estimated to be. So it's really helpful to do that. I definitely recommend um, doing that you know, to help um, make yourself stay on budget so that you have a, a better idea of what you're going to buy when you get there. And then just one other tip is um, what I try and do, which seems helpful to me, because what used to always throw me off budget too, sometimes was like, say if we needed like paper towels and like dish detergent and then like laundry detergent and it all happened to fall in the same week and I'd have like, you know, if you buy them at like BJ's or something, it's like, you know, 12 to $15 for one of them. And then paper towels might be like 15 to $20. And then, you know, the, the, um, laundry detergent might be like, I don't know, another $15. And that would always mess up my budget so bad. So what I always do now is I try and keep a spare one of all those types of items. So like, say for example, as soon as we use up a dish detergent, I'll put that on my list for, um, like that I need it right away but I get it when I can squeeze it into the budget so that way I don't have to buy it that week. Like say if I know I'm gonna need dishwasher detergent soon and paper towels soon and stuff like that, I try and do it in way plenty of time so that I can get like one of them one week, another one another week and things like that. And I find that that's been super helpful in kind of making sure to always kind of have a backup so that once I need it, I'm not like, it's not like I have to get it that week. So that's just a little tip on sticking with your grocery budget. So I hope you, um, I hope you got uh, stuck to your grocery budget this week. And um, if you didn't, keep trying. You'll get there. So um, I would love if you guys um, want to go to my Facebook page. If you want to share some feedback or leave a message, send me a message, um, post a comment. My Facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. It's all one word, no apostrophe. Um, or you can join the private listeners group if you like. We have one member so far, so I'm super excited. It's new, so don't feel bad if there's not many people on there yet. I, I really think that we're going to build this into a great group where we can share ideas and talk about um, different topics like, you know, grocery shopping and cleaning and budgeting and all kinds of fun stuff like that, habit tracking, like all these kinds of things that I love talking about. So to join the group, just go to facebook.com slash Lola, I'm sorry, facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life, and you can um, join the group there. You just have to submit a request. There's no questions to answer or anything like that. Um, you just submit a request, and then as soon as I see it, I will approve it. Um, also, if you just go to um, the, the regular page too, um, there's a link there to the group as well. So I'd be super happy to hear from you. I'm really, really looking to hear some feedback because I want to provide episodes that are helpful to people. So if you could let me know like what you'd like to hear about, that would be awesome. And uh, what else? I guess that's it. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have an awesome night.